Hello and welcome. Um, throughout this video, you'll hear us talk about being at the cemetery prior to this video. Um, sadly, we've lost that footage, so you won't be able to see that. But we are definitely heading back out there, and we're going to do another investigation video out there. Um, possibly some spirit box stuff as well. So keep an eye out in the future for those videos, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. See you next Scott time. with the Michigan Paranormal Society, and today we are back out in Howell at Lakeview Cemetery. We did a video out here about a week or so back. We actually found out a lot of really, really interesting information about this cemetery, so we decided to come back. It's daytime out if you can't tell. We're going to do a little, I don't know, 10, 15 minute video, whatever it turns out to be, and explain some of the backstory here. So, um, what we actually found out was is that the cemetery was originally owned by a KKK member back years and years ago. And this was all farmland at one point that they used to use to hide their victims or the people that they would murder out here. And in order to hide the fact that they were doing that, he later filled in part of this land and had it deemed to be a cemetery, at which point he started it was open to the public and started burying people here. And once the cemetery got full, he added 10 feet of dirt to it and started over again. And he's done this between four and five times. And you can see the 10 foot layers, which I'll be showing here in a minute. He eventually got busted and caught for doing this and lost the cemetery. It's now actually owned by the state, I do believe. And nobody knows exactly how many people are buried here and how many people are buried here that do not have grave markers of any kind or are beneath other people because there's multiple layers of just people buried. And way over there by the park, that was all segregated uh, burial grounds at one point in time back in history when it was um, whites only on one side, blacks only on the other side. And most of that over there has been destroyed. There's only like six or seven original headstones still left over there. And maybe we'll show that too a little bit. And that's kind of kind of more or less the backstory about this place. So um we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We're gonna show off the different levels so you guys can see that and hope you guys enjoy this. Alright. So here we are in the intro we were talking about how there's all these mass graves and the plateaus around the cemetery. And there was the video that you saw yesterday that kind of gives you an idea of how big it is. But if you look right now, we're going to give you more of a full outline of how much people there are buried here, how much there is undiscovered. And the surprising fact about it is there's a lot of people that walk around here on the daily basis. It's like a city park to an extent, but it's a cemetery. And they probably don't know what they're walking on, which is weird. But as you can see behind me, you got a layer on top of a layer over there, and then there's a layer right there, a layer up there, and a layer up there. That's almost five layers full of bodies on top of bodies on top of bodies on top of bodies. And we're going to walk down this, show you all the graves that are on top of it, and uh, just so you can see how massive and how many people were buried here. So come on, let's go check it out. Yeah, and depends on where at you are, there's anywhere between three to five layers, depends on where you're at. Yeah, still, it's just, so, it's kind of insane. You can kind of see where the lake wraps around over there, and that's kind of the beginning of it. There's some people down there, so we're going to avoid that. But as you can see, it's just sprawling. It just doesn't stop with the amount of layers on top of layers. Like, this guy... First off, he probably didn't work alone, but this was like his life's project. He just, I don't know what made him decide to do it. It was just a different time back then, but still, it's kind of insane to think about. Yeah, he ended up in a lot of legal trouble with what he did here. A lot of legal trouble. This is... Honestly, it took me about four days, 20 some websites, old newspapers, old city records, just to even piece together the story because it's like the government was trying to hide it. Which I could understand. I mean, this is pretty much a massacre. This is 
an honest to God start of a genocide, in my opinion, back in the day. <coughs> It's insane. See, now one of my questions I have is, as we're walking up here, um, you guys will be able to, we'll look at it more in a second, but there's like crypts in the side. So when they put these crypts in, did they uncover what was supposedly here beforehand? Do you think? Um, these crypts are at the base level, so they're probably original. You think they're original crypts? Yeah. Because they're old, they're all falling apart, the concrete's breaking up, and they're at the ground level. They're not, like, they're built up on these hills. You'd think they'd just dig into the hill if they wanted to put them up. I mean, when did you say this was around? You said, I know in the intro you said a few years ago, but didn't you have a more accurate date? Um, it was actually in the 1800s. Yeah, like, look at that. Like that, yeah, even the date on that's 1875, and I believe the cemetery actually opened, it was like 18, we gotta speed up a little bit. I don't remember exactly the exact date, it was, was mid-1800s though. People following us. Still, it's kind of insane because how big it is. on the website, this is supposed to be closed at like 7 p.m. Is it? Well, yeah. I didn't see anything on the sign, but... Still, it makes you think, and we'll show you, there's actually even more sites over by the playground. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to show it all off. Yeah. yeah, we can, well, I think there's people up by the playground. There probably is. We could show you guys it, but there's places honestly kind of busy right now, which is interesting to me at least. Yeah, it's almost, oh, yeah. it's almost dark out. People are still... All right. This is going to be a shorter video. We just wanted to showcase this. We'll be back in just a second. I want to stop the video so these couple people can get past us. All right, sorry about that, guys. We're back now. Those people have walked past, and as you can kind of see behind them, there's a crypt here. We were kind of on the fence about coming back and continuing the video. Get it? Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice joke. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to continue on with our tours, guys. Our little tour here. And as, as we get further down, you can see the layers kind of stop and it just kind of becomes just a straight incline more. I think I can climb that tree. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, it does kind of slow down. So, Scott, you said part of it was segregated at one point. Do you know what part that would be? That is, once we get around this curve up here, oh, that whole playground area was a segregated part. And so what happened? So where the swings are and the jungle gym and all that stuff, there are literally hundreds of bodies buried under there. These, like, these families don't even know that. These kids don't know it, that they're just playing on top of dead people. One thing that I find I mean, even on the sidewalk it. right here by the lake, there's dead people underneath the sidewalk. What's weird is the fact that there's no acknowledgement at all. It's all trying to be hidden. And the thing about some of the communities are, well, at least Heartland, which is nearby, is supposedly the KKK capital of Michigan. Yeah. Um, so it's like the tradition stayed around to an extent. I mean, not, not fully. It's a lot more. I didn't know the park that went that far that still. way. We walked up that way. Yeah, we don't walk down here at all. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's how we came in. But we're going up this way because this is where the last little, like, six or twelve headstones are that's left of a segregated section. Which is kind of weird. So we're going to check those out and then we'll probably wrap it up. And we got a couple other places to go and film today, so we'll keep you guys posted. Um. We should show them the, the part. Oh, we are. After we look at the old segregated headstones here, we can come over. I'm right trying here. to get past the leaves. The leaves are real noisy on the camera. We still got a few of the old headstones right there. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So, in our last video, me and Juan were over here, and we were kind of questioning why this area was up. Uh, separated by itself. 
and that's why. There's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you can see 12, that all of them been broken. There's about 21 headstones here. They're all pretty much broken. The dates are so unrecognizable. You can't read any of the writing on them. Look at this. Yeah, there's a, that's a newer one. Unknown residents from former Yeah, I will. Alright, we're going to go take a look at this. This is the only headstone in this area that you can actually read. And it says, unknown resident from former what is that, Street Cemetery. Yep. That's the only one in here that you can read. And that one's actually probably a little bit newer. But all these other ones are. That's all that's really left of the segregated section. But all this really expensive. This whole playground, this whole hill that we're on. That's crazy. There's, the body here. there's hundreds and hundreds of just people buried under here. And it's, I don't know if you guys know this, but the segregated section you can't really see the lake from anymore. No. Yeah, I mean, like, look, there's like swings here. I mean, kids are playing on this. It's got use on it. You can see the wear from the sliding and. Jungle gyms. Just a playground for kids on top of a, no, a cemetery. So, do you know if over there on the other side is uh, still continued as the graveyard? That's the problem. That's why all that is state property and as a state park. Because nobody knows how far in that direction he was actually buried. That's that's why all that over there is all by the state. Far it goes back. It goes way back in there. I could not find out what his exact name was. What was it rumored as? Couldn't find it. Really? All it said Nothing was a former, a former clan member. That's insane. They wouldn't even tell us. They wouldn't list his name on any of the newspapers. Anywhere I looked and tried to find his name, I could not find it. It would be very interesting to ask around the community, but I don't think we'd get too much... Uh, happy faces for doing that. And chances are there's a lot of people in the community that don't even know with the way that they were trying to hide it. That as well, but someone would know. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. There's Trevor. Trevor's over there being a goo. <laughs> yeah, I think we might as well wrap it up. <laughs> it sounds like the end of this video, but you guys could see the massiveness of it. And it keeps going this way to the other side of the lake. Um, if you guys ever felt like coming here yourself, it's called Lakeview in Howell, Michigan. Lakeview Cemetery. And it's one of the craziest places I've ever been to when it comes down to backstory. And definitely it's something to you guys find any other information it'd be great to hear it in the comments or if any of you find anything about it it would be great to hear about but anyway we're going to wrap it up and thanks for watching